and an ECU employee shot near a Greenville school. That same suspect later firing at responding officers. The shots heard around 8 o'clock this morning on East 5th Street. It's a pretty busy part of town. News 12's Bojana Garland is live for us tonight, and we've learned the names of those involved. While the identity of those involved are known, the random shots this morning has the community on 5th Street wondering what happened. Because of the shooting, there were two schools that were put on lockdown, which has since been lifted. And while the crime scene tape behind me is gone, well, the police are still trying to get to the bottom of what happened. Now, this is the second shooting this month that occurred near a Greenville school. Two ECU students needed to hear only a few gunshots to realize something wasn't right. As I was pulling into the driveway, I got out of the car and heard all the shots go off. So I ran inside and looked out the window, and that's when I kind of saw it all go down. ECU junior Jack Marr parked his car on 5th Street for class like any other day. College kid-wise, seen some crazy stuff, but nothing like this. From the window, he watched Greenville PD swarm the suspect who was lying on the ground detained. Totally not how I expected to start my morning. Greenville Police Chief Ted Saul says the suspect, 38-year-old Savelle Hightower, was riding a bike after unleashing at least five gunshots, unprovoked on 27-year-old Andrew Redioff, an ECU employee walking on the street. Jackson Bassett, an ECU junior living next door to the scene, heard screaming from his roommate. I just hear gunshots in my room, like 10 gunshots go off. But that doesn't stop there. Before the suspect was detained, he turned the gun onto police officers, letting off more pops. All the bullets missed. Three police officers returned the fire. No one was injured. He was laying on the ground and then they kicked his gun away and then kind of waited for a minute and then got him up. So Chief Sauls breaks down who they received the first 911 call from. It's important to note that this call originated after one of our officers, a school resource officer at Walcoats, heard a report outside of shots fired. While Chief Saul says there is no current threat to the public, Jackson says he won't forget this day. Crazy stuff happens every day, but yeah, I definitely Put stuff in perspective for sure, like wow, like that just happened in our front yard, so yeah. Hightower has been charged with multiple counts of attempted murder and four other charges, and this is still under investigation. Live in Greenville, Biliana Garland, News 12.